Welcome to the Teamwork Monster on the Podcast Show. It's episode 122 for January the 5th, 2014. Hi everybody, here's Christian from Teamwork Cast. We are back with another exciting episode of the Teamwork Cast, uh, Monster Hunter Teamwork Cast uh, podcast, I guess. I'm here with some four exciting hunters. Uh, where is Shepard? Shepard is kneeling in front of me. I'm just, I'm in awe of how stylish you are. I, I'm i wearing the same thing I was wearing the whole year. Mm, I know, <laughs> well you had an upgrade, like a fashion change halfway through. It's it's you know you know how you sometimes you wear jeans for such a long time you you forgot when you started wearing them yeah it's it's kind of like this yeah well it looks good it's it's been it's, wearing it's wearing really well on you it, it's starting to have like this musky manly smell that's what I'm trying to I'm trying to get the smell off of you ah <laughs> I see I see so behind me we have also a beautiful Cthulhu punching me in the, in the in the in the back. Yes, after a great slumber, the Cthulhu rises from his sleep <laughs> once more. Cthulhu is trying to get on the front page of Imager. Yeah, trying. Cthulhu, with, with, Cthulhu deception. We have we have to we have to show whoever edits this episode needs to show the the image right now. Ding, of of Cthulhu <laughs> uh, in his beautiful outfit. Looks good. It's. I got it's the mask cool. on right now for the stream as well. So. They all this, get to see me torture myself. Yeah, this should be totally. This should be your outfit on every convention <laughs> kind of thing, you know, cosplay. To look cosplay. That's kind of the idea. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. And we have also a new guest on the show today. We have Mr. Toad. Well, re recurring guest. He's been on recurring guest. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Which I've been on like three episodes now. Yeah. <gasps> this will probably be the third. Yeah. <laughs> Omg. I'm actually. Um, how awkward. I'm pretty hyped. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty hype for um that game. Uh, what is it called? Toki Den. It's like a Monster Hunter clone on the Vita coming out. When does it come out? Uh, February four. I mean, uh, February eleventh. I think it's coming mm -hmm. out on the Vita. We'll, we'll finally have cool. an excuse to play our Vitas together. <laughs> yeah, I was I was playing recently a lot of um, Persona Four Golden. Hey, Still good job. That. That's like yeah. the only thing that's. <laughs> Let's talk about it in uh, the next episode. Yes, yeah. let's go. We are going on this quest now. Okay, who, who did complain? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's basically they just PewDiePie. the uh, companies don't want to be attacked by the they fans of that person. They don't want. They don't want that <laughs> That's why so they I do it. It's get... like it's not because you're complaining. It's because the fans start yeah. harassing their twitters. Wow. Like I need like yeah, like a thousand hashtag Comcast sucks save sa hashtag save shepherd hashtag hate cox <laughs> cox sucks. It'll be hashtag cox hate sucks. cox and then a bunch of lesbians cox. will join it yeah. not knowing what it actually means hate cox <laughs> this is the first time we do this quest yay we're back <laughs> we're talking about hating cox guys uh, no cox cable is amazing guys you should know you should know this. This is a PG whatever. What? We're talking about the internet provider. Yes, I hope so. Uh, We're talking about Vita. Oh, you're supposed I, to I'm enjoying Vita a lot and playing, playing uh, uh, Persona on it, and it's really oh, good. Again. And also, I finished Muramasa on it, and uh, um, yeah, um, Spelunky. Spelunky is good. Spelunky is a very fun game. I, I haven't played it on the video yet. Was it cross by or no? I can't, I can't remember. Mm, what, with what? Uh, the PlayStation 3 version. There's a PlayStation 3 version? Are you sure? Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. I... Not Is sure there... about that, Ooh. but I don't care. I just want Spelunky in my toilet. You want a Spelunky? Want you, want a, you want a Spelunker in, in your toilet? Yes. <laughs> mm. It's like blowing up your poop looking uh, for uh, money. The rotor rooter. Uh, pretty much, okay, just get because you get so enraged. It's just like the instant bowel cleansing tactic is playing a game like that. Yeah, you know which high level I really love the most? 
What's that? The worm level, because it just feels like, you know, you're trying you're, to get through actually, the intestine. Yeah, you're actually in someone's oh. intestines. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's really good. That level's where you get Meat Boy. It's uh, awesome. No, 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 no. Um, so we, we, were, we had said something about we wanted the new year to be great. And so we're yeah. going to start it off with great it's, swords. It's not going well, Shepard. It's not going. Start well. it off, and we'll use great swords the whole time. <laughs> Do we want to talk about Monster Hunter news now or Monster Hunter news later? Because I got Monster Hunter news. Mo Monster news about. now. Apocalypse now. Now. So uh, what, is, what, what is there to Monster say? Monster Hunter Frontier. Yes. Uh, having a new expansion soon. Mo they they thought people didn't have enough G rank, so they made their G rank G rank. Seriously, the new, new update is called like Monster Hunter Frontier GG. GG. <laughs> GG. 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 Uh, so, uh, end result being G -G. Um, they've also introduced a new weapon type. Okay. Ooh. They are Tonfas. You have one in each hand. Um, not a oh. very popular weapon that you normally see in uh, games or movies or anything like that, right? <gasps> Guys, well, sometimes you do. <laughs> I'm Hope sleeping. I'm, I'm sleeping. <laughs> I Hope fell asleep never... on the job. <laughs> Why am I sleeping? Oh no, I'm awful. Oh, I'm so bad at video games. <laughs> You're so bad. Because because regular Peko hit us with the sleep song. <laughs> All right, I see. It didn't affect me though for some reason. It was very strange. What, um, why you why am I shooting trank shots? Oh gosh, this what? is the worst. You almost put him to sleep. We are so out of shape. He put you to sleep, so you want to put him to sleep. <laughs> In any case, it's uh you get you get one in each hand, and it, their mechanic seems to be kind of like dual swords, but like they get more powerful as you use them. Like they get upgraded through different stages. Like they get bigger and more spikes and things will come out of them, things like that. Okay. Uh, I don't so think what, any oh, but, videos have been shown of them in action yet, though. I think uh, maybe just... for people who don't know what a tonfa is, can you explain? Um, it's like a stick. It's like a it's like a baton, more or less. Like a, yeah, if you happen to remember, like Killer Instinct, uh, Jade Orchid did use tonfas way back when. It, it basically looks like a like a police stick, right? Like a yeah, a baton. Yep. Yeah. And you I use think both the Kurapeko just put himself to sleep for me. The Kurapeko just like fell asleep, and I as I was charging up near it. <laughs> so yeah. That's actually, the, I think that's the first. Now the the main thing in in Frontier is of course each each weapon type gets like different move sets depending on which style you select. I don't know if this will just have one or if it'll have multiple multiple styles as well. It's a good question. I, wa uh, I wonder how do you want to because basically you could do also the tonfa basically with um, dual, um dual swords of course dual swords thing right? Yep. But I think the tonfas can actually block. I think they have an ability to block Ooh. as well. Well, that move makes sense. Yeah. Will they do impact damage? That'd be awesome. Uh, it's a great question. I would assume they, they do should. impact damage. So that's kind of. I mean, like they have that... tonfas with knives on them, but like, it would just be cool if they didn't have the knives and just did impact all the time. Yeah, it would be like a tiny hammer, basically. Yeah, imagine like dual swords, but they could do impact damage. Well, it's, it's kind of a long time coming. There's there's always been a kind of a demand for a very quick impact weapon in this game. You know. Yeah, yeah. We, we always have had you know either hunting horn. Hammer. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much. And people, it. people really wanted the bug staff to do impact damage when that was announced. Well, there is. They were like, uh, I think there is one attack you can do with the bug staff where it does impact damage. Right. The, so we're in the combo. The, well, yeah, it's like one of the combo hits and then the bug. Or the bug himself, of course, yeah, does impact damage. Yeah, the bug does. If you build the bug wreck, man, that bug does a tremendous yeah, amount he, of he impact damage. He doesn't care. He will, he will knock your ass out. I still want to see, like, four hunters just only using the bug Bugging. on, like, a jaggy or something. Bugging out. You can definitely kill, kill it. Oh, you can definitely kill a great jaggy with only bugs. It's not even hard. Yeah, exactly. That's why I want yeah. to see it. Yeah, <laughs> I just I I need to see it. Run it. That might that be the once. fastest way to do it. It's to bug yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is not my A game right now. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Shepard made me use a great sword, so. Yeah, no, yeah. we're all, we're all you're being be You're being punished for not using great sword with us. Yeah. Oh. In fact, I think it just shot me as punishment. I'm pretty sure that just happened. Yeah, yeah. That's what. That's that's all. That's all intentional, Shepard. Are, are you guys focusing on? I was gonna say. There what, we go. What crew pack are we focusing on? I've been <laughs> not, focusing on the not sure. The just shooting in in on birds. Which bird? Guys, get your carbs. Um, Maybe I will use the. One yet, Christian? 
Uh, yeah, I did. I once. Uh, another I don't interesting, have any shots anymore. Another oh. interesting thing in Monster Hunter news was the most recent like popular games for Wii U and 3DS by Club Nintendo people consisted of both uh, Monster Hunter 3U on both the Wii U and 3DS in the top four. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's um, apparently sold like gangbusters Yay! on the 3DS. It's one of the most mm -hmm. popular 3DS titles that's been released. Um, as far as I can tell. Um, and of course, sales data for Monster Hunter 4, I think, has actually exceeded 4 million in Japan. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's a lot of numbers. That's a lot of that's a lot of copies sold. Right? I mean, I, I don't even know if that necessarily even counts the digital copies. I don't think it does. So I don't think you, they I do mean, take that into consideration. What do they normally say? 20%? So if you take the retail sales and you get 20% of it, that's normally... A kind of a all right indicator yeah that's a for most of them i think that's what they look at so you can say you know wait let's up swing each other at the same time get over five here. million copies sold and uh, you guys know how that that money is being invested now right Wee. more monster hunter and gg uh, uh, and, and the I, don't know, I don't well i actually Phone stuff. got it the the money's actually um the, the investors were, were told that the money would go towards the uh, Japanese mobile games division. Yes! Wow. Well, uh, They've been in the shadows for way too long. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're looking at it from a pure profit perspective, all you have to do is just make one more Puzzles and Dragons. Then yeah. everyone can retire forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just live in a Puzzles and Dragons filled Welcome nightmare. Welcome to the Puzzles and Dragons podcast, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the four of us just sitting here playing Match 5 over and over again. Oh, forever. man. Those Smurf berries aren't making themselves. Um, well, I mean, I don't know. If, if, a, if a good couple of mobile games come out that, aren't, that don't feel grindy, I guess it's okay. I just I feel like it's difficult to make a mobile game without having in-app purchases. I feel like the temptation is too great, so I don't... I don't. <laughs> the power. You cannot handle the power. It's basically <laughs> like the ring from Lord of Rings. Bad dragon. Don't go there. <laughs> what? I just said... I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, how did you think that I was talking about website? I was talking about Smaug. About, about, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, he's sure. a bad dragon, isn't he? Sure. He's a pretty bad dragon. Seriously, people, do not go no, there. No, no, you're just making it worse. Something that needs to be you just make it worse. What, what you just needs make to be, it worse. What? 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 Need, what? It's okay. It's okay, Shepard. Let's continue. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't, no, let's I don't continue. Even... This let's is continue. not good. This is not the path we want to go down. No. <laughs> you shall be informed after the recording. Okay. <laughs> right. we'll, let, we'll let Christian get in the quest and then we'll, uh, we'll continue in a normal conversation. I feel like this entire section should probably be cut out. Yes. <laughs> Would that be the smart thing to do? Yes, please. Yes. Please. <laughs> Would it be we the need, fun thing to do? Is the real question. Are, is this is this a product that's for sale? <laughs> you're you're just making it worse. Could, could, I can't. Is this, could just, this be a possible sponsor of the you're podcast? Just it no. What do no. You, mean, no. Other it's, hand. you said something about dragons, right? On the other hand, right? How about a Capcom collaboration with them? Uh, the, yeah, the I mean, Uragan. I, guess, it, I mean, it, 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 they'd have to make like a wyvern type, know. but whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever wyvern. Yeah. Like, I, I can, I like. can feel it, guys. Um, so in in Ooh. other online related news, I guess Monster Hunter <laughs> Online, the uh, the Chinese uh, created version. Oh, I didn't eat. Well, that's all right. Um, I guess it's been doing very well. It's been very successful. Good. They, they just announced, like, uh, I guess they have, like, little milestones, and I guess it, it continues to pass every milestone, and the, the players are really enjoying it. Um, they continue to release new armor and, and things to do. I guess they're going to be creating, like, a new online village that it's going to be something other than just arm wrestling, finally. Oh! <laughs> what? I know! Pillow fights. 
I want pillow fights. Uh, pillow fights, oh, man. maybe. If you're if you're good. No, oh, snowball you. fights. Uh, maybe, maybe maybe snowball fights too. I don't know. So that's good. I mean, I always kind of um, was confused why they didn't add like a couple more stupid mini games in the town because sometimes people take a lot of time to decide what armor set they're doing. It'd be fun to do other things, maybe things that were a little bit more productive that you can maybe even collaborate with other players on. I think that would be interesting. <laughs> yes, yes. Are you guys are getting just, hype. Yeah, it's... Do we... Is there any word on on Monster Hunter 4 in the West? Um, there's no There's no word on Monster Hunter 4 in the West. Um, Sad face. But... All, all, all we can say for certain is Monster Hunter 3 U did really well in the West. Okay. Um, Capcom continues to really, really support Monster Hunter 3 U. They, they still uh, see, continue to put a lot of advertising revenue into it. Um, Didn't they get a new? They got a, a new like community representative or something. Uh, yeah, in they Europe. just they just hired <laughs> more people to represent the game. Yay! Um, they, and we've been even featured on, on, on Capcom Unity. Yeah, yeah, they, they've, they've mentioned for Teamwork Planet. Cast several times yes. for Lost Planet. Lost Planet! <laughs> da -da -da -da. Skill uh, shot. You know, they <laughs> maybe over the past oh, whoa. two, oh, two one months, shot. would you say? Three, maybe three months, guys. They uh, teamed up with a bunch of YouTube people, YouTube celebrities, to put out a bunch of Monster Hunter related content. Yeah. So we can say this much. All right, we have not had any word of Monster Hunter Four yet, because who knows? Maybe it's going to be the same thing as Monster Hunter Three U, right? Maybe they think the only way that the game could succeed is if there's also a Three U version. Although I don't know that that's necessarily the case anymore, because the the Wii U is 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 having a real hard time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it was about a year ago, almost a year ago to this day, uh, oh. maybe a little bit longer when Three U was announced for um, the Wii U, right? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. and I, I mean, I know that sold a lot of consoles. I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't have purchased a console if, they, if the game hadn't come out. But you know, that that's before Capcom knew what was going to happen. That Shepard, was buy it one. could be always worse. It could be the Vita. Uh, it could be the Vita. I, yeah, I, I would say if you were to compare the the sales, well, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the yeah the Wii U sales are better than the Vita sales. The Vita sales are, are abysmal. It's incredible. <laughs> Nobody has a Vita except. I think we are on the only people who. Own the only a Vita. people, the only yeah. people in the yep, I have one known one, but that's just because I can't afford it right now. Uh, there's no. I mean, what are you gonna do? I mean, Monster Hunter. I'm sorry. Um, Persona 4 Golden is pretty much the only game that, that I'd say is a must-have, must-play. But Tokyo then coming out soon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there are a couple of ones, but yeah. Well, I, I want to know um, what the deal is with uh, how come the Vita TV hasn't gotten a, a Western release. I don't. <clears throat> yeah. I don't understand it because it, it seems like it's a very I feel like that cheap would help. console yeah. to produce. And, yeah. You know, it's uh, Americans like their their big their big TVs, right? Yep. I would I would buy a Vita TV just Ooh, for uh -oh. Persona Gold for uh, Persona Gold for yeah, Golden. Good. <laughs> Guys. So that's one out of three Aragons and two out of three Hunters. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I don't really <laughs> like is, those odds. This is not sustainable in the long term. <laughs> I don't like those odds. This <laughs> trend continues. We are screwed. By the last one, we're going to get quad carded. Uh, <laughs> He'll just do is... the super ground pound on two of us. <laughs> yeah, the this super ground good. pound on all of us at once. This is going to be the first, <laughs> first quest fail of the year. Uh, Gotta start it off with right that there. attitude. Well, just play conservatively. I mean, you know, don't if you take a hit, <laughs> oh. head back, kill yourself up. I'm gonna drink a max potion just like that. That's smart. That's a good plan. So I mean, I, I got very excited when the Vita TV was announced. I would, yeah. I would love to have that. Yeah, so I can play all of the games that were released on the Vita and now on a big <laughs> screen. <laughs> It'd probably be a lot easier to uh, sorry, record I'm it, though. Sorry, I had to. That's really funny. No, it's, it's kind of true, though, because you're like, well, wait, what? what well, no, but for us, it's good. For us, it's good because then we could, for example, um, record stuff from the Vita. And exactly. Yeah, that, that, that was kind of my thought. You know, this that's like the main thing because the capture card for the Vita is like even more than. Yeah, that I think is for... not happening. Yeah. I mean, the, the only thing that you could do now Ooh, is tiny. the Vita TV is. It's region locked on the digital download, but it's not region locked apparently on the actual cards. So like you can purchase the physical cards, which is 
kind of ridiculous if you ask me and and play that way if you wanted to see what i i think is that the vita is kind of like a special kind of joy like what i really enjoy is for example playing um the playstation one games on it uh mm. yeah I you know what, I, PSP, I haven't even though. downloaded one yet I, yeah, I, I have I have a couple of ones uh, which I downloaded back in the days for the PlayStation and PSP, and I, they work even better on the on the Vita. <clears throat> so I got like um, I don't know Symphony of the Night and Final Fantasy Tactics, and that's really sweet. Well, it's right, a sweet. beautiful screen. I mean, it really makes oh. everything that you put on it just look amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, the old PlayStation games are much lower resolution, so they are a little yeah. bit washed out. But you but have they like look two amazing controllers. Amazing in that low resolution. Well, you you that's that's a cool thing. Like yeah. on the on the PSP, you had to you know uh, it's the resolution was much lower, but now on the Vita because the resolution is so much higher, then you have like those crisp pixels and everything. It's really nice. Yeah, and of course you have two controllers, uh, like two thumbsticks, yeah, which is also really nice. Mm -hmm. I actually um, they released uh, Terraria recently on the Vita. Yeah, they did, didn't they? I probably they'll yeah. probably release Starbound. Oh, yeah. too. They did. Oh, and I have to plug a good friend of mine also released um, a game on it, which is uh, you, you Floria. Oh, that's <laughs> his. Game. You, you got a buddy that made that game? Yeah, yeah. I know him personally. He's really nice, nice guy, and he really, he really put like puts a lot of effort in his game. So if you want to want a, like a cool strategy game, indie strategy game for for on the go, you um, Floria is a really, really good choice. Yeah. And it's I, really I feel cheap like too. Sony must just be giving away the development consoles for the Vita at this point. I'd imagine they should. Well, just they literally just like <clears throat> fly over like uh, San Diego or something like that and just drop them out of like <laughs> just drop a care plane. package. Just, just like just <laughs> randomly falling down out of the sky. Like anyone who wants to pick it up and go ahead and start developing for the Vita. Well, there one thing is that they I can I can tell from a first person experience they're really trying to push it. Like um, they're really. Um, if you talk to them, they really try to um, to convince you to release something always cross-platform. So if you do something for like PlayStation Three, you always want they always want you to release something for the Vita as well. But yeah, but that just um, people are just gonna buy it in the PS Three and not buy it on the Vita. Well, they always hope you that, that you know people who people get some kind of cr cross cross buy deal, so they got got it for both systems, so can, they can play it on the go and at home as, as well. And that's that makes sense, except for things like uh, Dragon's Crown, which don't do that, and then it's horrible. oh no 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 they they patched that in. <gasps> so wait a minute, did they cross really? play or cross buy? Cross play, but I uh, but they could always create a bundle and make it essentially cross buy as well if they wanted. Yeah, they could wow. Because remember remember when you guys were gonna stream and I was gonna join and we were all playing Dragon's Crown, and then you but then I the couldn't. <laughs> Yeah, I had the Vita version. Yeah, well, that's, 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 that's really that's good. That's been a game that has gotten very consistent um, developer support since its release, is Dragon's Crown. Yeah, that's Alice is pretty good about cool. that with their games, though, which is always really surprising from those from a small studio like well, that. It's like, there, there, there's at least a, a small group of people out there saying, like, can we stop supporting Demon Souls now? Is this okay yet? Can we stop? And the fans are like, no! Black tendency. <laughs> Demon's Demon's Souls is great. It's a great game. I know, but I, they 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 were gonna originally that, end support for it like three years ago, and they yeah. can't. Haven't they? Haven't the they closed the servers? What's that? Yeah, they've they've kept the servers up because of fan demand. Oh, but that's great. Atlas. Atlas goes out of their way for their fans a lot of time. Man, time. didn't they get bought by Sega or something? Oh, they did. Sega. We didn't really talk about that, did we? Uh, we did. Like... We, we talked a little bit about it when it was first. I think we talked up. about Atlas going bankrupt. I don't think we talked about the merger with Sega. Yeah, I think that yeah. hasn't been mentioned yet. So, I mean, I, I, Atlas of Japan had some serious uh, possible money laundering. <laughs> they had money uh -oh. issues. We don't, I don't know the details. <laughs> Wait a minute. Money issues and money laundering issues. <laughs> they, they had issues with the money. I don't know if that was necessarily money laundering, but there was something not not good with their money situation, and uh, and they had to declare bankruptcy. They they had to go uh, Atlas to Japan had to go bankrupt, and um, it's not very clear to me at least the relationship between Atlas Japan and Atlas US. Well, so it wasn't actually at, it wasn't actually the Atlas arm. It was Index, of Japan. I think. It was in, the parent company of right. Atlas went right. bankrupt. Atlas was actually their only profitable right. like subsidiary, so they sold it off to Sega in order to, you know, essentially 
I think they had to, debt. I think, because yeah. like, they were going to get shut down. Yep. So Atlas is actually was never actually in real serious financial issues. It was the parent company that was in Correct. financial Correct. issues. Um, this is way too complicated. Essentially, it now means that Atlas, which was this really great oh. No, 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 don't explain it. It's it's like some it's it's like some Eve Online Corporation kind of stuff that you're explaining Eve. right now. Well, no, no, I'm just <laughs> I'm just saying the, the big thing though is that Atlas, who used to have like no money, yeah. is now going to have Sega's money behind it, which okay. means that we're going to get better. I think we're going to see as great as Atlas games typically are. I think we're going to start seeing even better ones. Um, Yay! At the very least, they, they should be able to localize <clears throat> even more things. I mean, the only thing that yeah. I don't understand, like I said, is I don't. I don't oh, understand sorry, the relationship between Atlas USA and Atlas Japan because Atlas USA, they're not just releasing Atlas games. They're just a, a, a bog standard localization studio as well, uh, like Xseed, but with a lot more money. You know, because they'll because they, they're the ones that released uh, Demon Souls, right? But it's not. It wasn't ever their real IP. They just they just said, oh well, this seems like a a great game that people will love we should release it because you know, people will buy it and play it man they were well, they picked it so up because money with sony this. didn't want it yeah, yeah what a what a foot in the mouth uh move yep. that was for sony good job sony uh, which really <laughs> uh you know sony you know the old sony you know sony of japan sony used to make a lot of really weird and interesting games games mm -hmm. like really strange games like <laughs> like i think they made like mr mosquito like just weird, strange little titles like, um, you know, what's that? Uh, Tokyo Jungle. They'd make games like Tokyo oh, Jungle. So Demon Soul would have been down their alley like you know ten years ago. Uh, maybe it's happened. maybe it's too too big of a title. I don't know. I don't know. Well, this was you know years and also, years like, ago by now. Also, like Demon point. Souls. Demon Souls so felt very Western. It, well, it, it's I, I'm sure at this point it's very profitable. I mean, it's been a PlayStation Plus title at this rate. So, no, I mean, I think the, the company who developed it developed it like with the uh, idea of selling it in the West. So uh, I was kind of from, confused. That... From software? Yeah. Well, the that type of game is, is actually really popular in Japan. Like the wizardry style, hmm. like dark, wandering around in the dungeons. Like wizardry was like a Western released computer game, right? High, high fantasy, you mean? High fantasy, <laughs> sort of medieval fantasy, quasi -medi medieval fantasy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, was that game any good? I remember wizardry? hearing about that. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's there's like maybe so like thirty was, of them at this point. Yeah, the last one in the U.S. released uh, was well, that's what was I mean. Wizardry the the most recent the PC one, which is really good. I actually recently rebought it on Steam. Yes, we um, did it, guys. We did it. We yeah. did it. I am amazed. And they were typically like first person, like dungeon crawling games, and then yeah. they like transitioned over time in the in the Japanese sector to be more of a third person. RPG style thing. Yeah, and but so... they they like that. They like those yep. those the creepy un like exploration unknown like the um, Etrian Odyssey games kind of have that mm -hmm. same sort of feel where you're you're kind of left on your own to explore and do things. They they like that. They don't. I don't know. I mean, at least that's my understanding. I, th then again, there's so many JRPGs that come out and hold your hand like hell. It's hard to say. <laughs> there's there's a there's a market for it at least. Yeah. Uh, but of course, it at was... this point. You know, Dark Souls, Demon Souls is a cult phenomenon, and we can expect to see one every two years, hopefully. I hope. Please. Please, every two years? Maybe more? Uh, well, I mean, that's... Well, of course, this, of course this year, we're going to see, like, we're going to have Dark Souls 2 this year, oh, and then we're going to have the Capcom version of with Deep Down, and... Oh, uh, yeah, what is... Is that what the mm. game called, Deep Down? Is that, that's yeah. for the yeah. PS4, right? Yeah, it's PS4. That's, it's that's what's going to make me purchase a PS4. Really? Free to play PS4 exclusive at that, too. Well, is Ooh. it multiplayer? What? I believe so. All the videos there, are, the videos and like stuff they showed off is um, even the gameplay was multiplayer. So, so what's the uh, what's what's the catch? What are you gonna make me pay money for? <laughs> Probably. Who knows? That's kind of where I'm kind of like at. I'm like, this sounds great. It's free to play too. Oh, well, what am I gonna be buying my equipment with real money? Well, I mean, I can say I, this uh... much. Like, I don't know. What do you think about free to play, Christian? I, I find free to play pretty hilarious because it says free, right? Right. But you know that you're paying just way more. And you, the, the problem is like from day one, you're just constantly stressed out by, I'm not going to pay for this. I'm not going to pay for this. Oh man, I just <laughs> paid $200 for this. I have almost completed Tiny Death Star without having spent one US dollar. But how stressful was that, you know? Eat it, Disney. Um, I, I, it was I, stressful I, until I learned how to break the game. And then I'm, I laughed. 
personally, I, I, I like the, the old school kind of games where you pay money and you get a chunk of experience. You know what I mean? You get a little, you get a little, a little taste of a little something. You're gonna, you're and gonna they, be doing something. They, 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 what they refer now to is the pay-to-play model, where you get everything with one purchase. Yeah, yeah. Instead well, of... yeah, that's something that is becoming increasingly popular, and I, I really like this. Yeah. Um, but, but what basically what what free-to-play often seems to me like is you make a game and then you break it, like gradually, and <laughs> then you make people pay to unbreak it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wanted to keep doing this thing. You need money to get past this this roadblock that we put in just to frustrate you. What do they call yeah, it? <laughs> I think they call it friction. Is there an, there's a name for that? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There probably is. But the the thing is, like, if you if you look at some games, like it's very grindy games. You know, it's kind of like difficult to to up Maple up Story the argument because, especially if this game we're playing right now, it's a very grindy game, isn't it? Yeah, and if no. you know, if they released, pay, <laughs> well, if they released like boosters people would buy them you know like item I, boosters hunter yeah, I mean, boosters. If, if, so, if, if capcom put in a, a a store in monster hunter especially for you that was like pay 50 cents for a lucid narga mantle you yeah. know how much money they would have made uh, yeah people would do it yeah people people wouldn't talk about it much because they'd be ashamed but they would do it no people yeah would... i would never do that because it's like then yeah, be, you could just get all the best sets and be like eh, whatever do I need to play anymore? Well, I, mean, I have if all you these want to sets. See how it would work? I mean, that's what they did in, in Monster Hunter Frontier. They still do it, in Monster Hunter Frontier. Yep. <laughs> in fact, they they get the best of both worlds. I mean, it's got to be the most profitable MMO per player ever because you have to pay to play it, and you you a lot of people will pay to get boosts in it. You normally normally it's mutually Boost. exclusive. Not the Capcom. They're like, uh. Uh-uh. We know how to make well, it. And specifically, uh-huh. don't they even have a thing where it's like, uh, in in Frontier, where it's like you buy to have. The, you know, you fight a specific monster a number of times, and then you're uh, hoping to get the drops you need. So I'll, I'll, we'll we'll go we'll go briefly through the courses you can get. That's how they call the subscription model. Is you 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 buy <laughs> courses of meals. There's oh. your um you know hunters course, which is anyone can have it and you're free to play it, but like you can only hunt like drones and show up and just like talk to people. So if you just want to go in and talk to people in your monster hunter gear and, and treat it like a virtual chat room and, and maybe kill a, a velocidrome every once in a while, you can do that. But you can't really play the game. Then you have your basic course, which is you know more or less your basic subscription. It's you know ten to fifteen dollars, I think, depending on currency conversion, and that will actually let you go through the entire game more or less and play. But there's still certain parts of the game that are locked out. So like you know how there's like an <laughs> item box right next to us, next to this gate here. Yeah, that would be locked. You wouldn't be able to use that. <laughs> you would have to purchase the extra course in order to use that, and the extra huh? course essentially lets you um, more easily purchase home furnishings, use item boxes, and there are certain quests that you can only do if you have the extra course enabled. And then there are, I mean, so like those are pretty normal. Like you're going to use both of those probably, and, and you'll do that. But then you're you're going to get to the point in the game where you are saying what is my time worth to me you know you're going to start really doing some serious economic analysis and saying well i can spend you know five dollars that over this weekend i will be getting double money and double experience and all that and you'll you might you might do that and that's called the premium course right (laughs) and so the premium course also has special uh quests that also unlock that give an enormous amount of experience and money on top of everything else that you're doing now, the only problem is, is you got to know people also in the premium course, are you doing these things alone? But don't worry, because you can also hire AI hunters <laughs> that will hunt with you that are basically super-powered uh, T-10,000 killing machines. Oh. And Shepard, then there's you also... You just made my brain hurt. Yeah, well, then, then you can some... also purchase Wait a minute, is sets. that really things that, that actually happen? Is, are you just describing things that already exist? I'm describing... I have purchased every one of those things at least once by myself when I played the game. Oh, wow. You this know, is crazy. It's... Well, you know, as an economist, it's difficult because I'm sitting there valuing my time and like, Jesus, this, <laughs> this is the grindiest Monster Hunter game I've ever played. I mean, eventually See? I had to stop playing it because it... The, the fun I was getting out of it wasn't wasn't there based, you know, compared to a normal Monster Hunter game. There See, was no I balance. think that, Sh- Shepard, I think this is this is the thing that I think breaks most games when you start like applying like economic thinking to games because then it's just com- you just turn into game into a job basically. 
So yeah, you don't want to do well. The, you know, as an MMO, though, you're always you know. Hopefully, whatever they're having you do is very fun. Hopefully, there's a very fun core there. Mm, but um, the, yeah, the problem is like you basically have this every time. I mean, the, the discussion I hate the most in games is this. You know, how much does an hour cost of this game? You know, right. when you buy like a sixty buck game and it costs it, it takes just eight hours to play through an entire thing. Then you then you do like the you know. Uh, hours how much how much does it cost my, how much hour analysis of fun time yeah yeah and it's that's just the worst i mean that that's that's where for me like all the magic of, of a game just goes out of the window it yeah. shouldn't be like this you know you cannot compare like like game experience or like the, the enjoyment of a game is not something that you can just compare across games <laughs> you know? I, cannot, that's the... I, I cannot I, I can have you know it's like people i know people like um They'll play an MMO and be like, man, I've gotten so much value out of this. I spent so much time with it. But then I'm mm -hmm. like, well, how much of it are you repeating the same thing over and over again? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I can go back and no, do sleeping. the same don't, thing don't, with don't hit, her. don't hit her. Uh, let's go for the tail. All right. All right. I have the probably the highest raw on my Okay, slash. so you can start it and we'll start right behind you. Okay. And... Oh, you actually hit. Off. Yeah, okay. I've been hitting it a little bit too. It's all time. Yeah. So, um, um it's just, the, the base game just isn't fun, Christian. It's Monster Hunter. I love Monster Hunter, of course, yeah. clearly. Yeah. But um, there's no balance to it. So yeah, you know, yeah, you're, okay. you know, I, I've said it before. You're either murdering the monster in like under a minute, or everybody has been killed instantly. That's <laughs> basically the balance. Yeah, I, I, I watch like some of the super monster fights in that, and it's like anytime someone gets hit, they're immediately taking like their super max potions because they only mm -hmm. have like a quarter of their health left. And then yeah, there's so much lucky. stuff they going on. Yeah, and then there's so much going on that you're like, you're gonna take hits constantly. Yeah. I'm like, um, okay, not for me. <laughs> and it got to be expensive because like you, you also you couldn't just play the game; you had to purchase a Japanese VPN. Which that's a little, that's a little expensive. expensive. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, we haven't. I haven't played Monster Hunter Online. I haven't gotten a. Uh, I haven't gotten an invite for the beta on that yet. But hopefully, they they maybe analyze some of those things, make it maybe a little less grindy. I don't know. Um, sure recently, recently, me and Cthulhu got back into into Eve Online a little bit. Yep. Spreadsheets. Yes, spreadsheets. Well, is I'm based doing combat, but yeah. You know. Well, I'm it's doing still spreadsheets. It's it's everything in in Eva's spreadsheets in the end. <laughs> but uh, I, I recently wrote an article about this on Game Design Scrapbook, which Eve Online has a very fascinating free to play model. Have you heard about this? Uh, well, if you spend some of your game money, um, you can buy in game time, right? Yeah, it's basically like a reverse free to play model. Like a normal free to play model is, you know, when you start out, it's free, but then you know, as you get into ad advanced features of the game, you have to pay for them, right? And in EVE Online, it's exactly the opposite. Like, if you start out, you have to pay for it. But when you get, like, a really, really successful player, you can start playing it for free, basically. But then it becomes... So I've, I've most of my time in EVE has been done in the, like, paying for it with game time. And that is when it really starts to feel like I'm working and not playing yeah. the game. Because it's like, oh, I so just funny. spent all that money I could have bought a new ship with to buy my next month of game time. Yeah, it's like you, <laughs> you invest like, I don't know, like 20 days grinding out missions so you can, you know, keep just playing so for another month. Just so you can do the same month. thing again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and you're like thinking like this, like, like a oh, job hits. with the worst pay ever. <laughs> I made $20 <laughs> in a month. <laughs> <laughs> over 80 hours so, so basically nobody does hour. that it's it's hilarious but uh it's it's really funny to see you know because a lot of people like start playing eve online daily hey you can play with game in game money well, that's amazing i can like play forever without paying a thing and they try to get like the money like on on their like trial account and it's like completely impossible yeah. but yeah they're coming <laughs> in and trying this anyway and I think the other interesting thing about Plex for Eve is that every single Plex in the game, someone bought. Like, none of yeah. it is developer seeded. Somebody went out and spent 20 bucks to basically use that to get legal in game do basically legal in game currency in the game yeah. by spending real money instead of going through, like, the real market trade. 
yeah, uh, groups and stuff. So it's a really interesting dynamic. In it's Eve. super interesting because uh, you know when people see that they always focus on on the ability to use the plex, uh, which is kind of like an item you can buy for twenty dollars, and then you have like a, this plex which can, you can like redeem for uh, one month of su su subscription, but you can also sell it in game for money. And every time people talk about it, they always talk about this redeeming uh, ability to, to extend your subscription. But I think most of the plex that are being bought are actually being bought to be, you know, resell, to, to, to make money out of them, because that's, that's what usually limits you in the game. It's it, a, lot of them will stop, a lot of people stockpile them to do that, basically sit on them to hopefully get the market up after more go away. But a lot of people also, uh, most of the people I know, that are use them regularly use them for an alt character like they'll yeah. pay for their they'll pay a subscription on one character but then once they get to a point where they're making you know four or five billion a month then you know have two alt characters that'll cost them like maybe 1.2 billion and it really doesn't cut into their profits that much and they now have even more characters to make <laughs> them even more money and <laughs> how many clients can you have running on one computer at a time i'm sure um, the answer is 15 my... Uh, as mi like, because if you run it in DX9, like, my computer, I've had 12 clients up without any issues. Oh, my God. What were you doing? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Dulu. This was an experiment. This was years ago. <laughs> like, I was I, young. I needed the money. <laughs> so, it happened when there was, like, an This is time my life I don't had, like to talk about. Eve was on there for a, a penny. <laughs> And so I bought like 25 <laughs> copies. <laughs> it just went nuts. <laughs> it was a dark time in his life. He doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, he had like an Eve orgy on his computer. <laughs> <laughs> but then there's also, you know, and it depends on like how much space you need. Because like the, some people like multi blocks. Oh, sleeping. Eve. Sleeping? Oops. Yep. yep, sleeping. Okay. And so uh, they actually like we broke put her their head, client right? really small. I don't know. Where's no, the didn't. best? I guess head. Yeah. All right. All right here I go. There we go. Bam. Oh, <laughs> we broke it this time. No. No. Still not don't know. Oh, now's a chance. Right. It's not broke. It doesn't look broken. No. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it's broken now. <gasps> okay. No, but oh. I mentioned this because you know, imagine if you if if. Monster Hunter was a subscri subscription base, and you could pay with Zenny for a subscription. Oh, well, I would have no problem. I'm rich. Yeah, we we'd have no problem here. No, but you know, you know how this is. Like, like it's always more Zenny than you. Like, it would be a serious investment. Like, you would have ah. to grind. Like seriously, for an hour. No, <laughs> no. Like, Im imagine like having to like grind. I don't know what what what's how what's the best. <laughs> you have to pay nine 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 Zenny you'd, you'd have to, for one you'd month. Have to do, so you'd be looking at like doing like uh, ivory laggy like a hundred times. Yeah, or gold beard. Gold beard is yeah. Profitable. Well, gold beard is too fast. Like the thing with like most of the activities for the average player that'll net them enough to pay with Eve. It's like an a time investment. It's not like gold beard. A hundred runs is like an afternoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh look, I'm just gonna sit here and go blah with a group, and we're done. Uh, that would be really, really weird. I th I would love to see more games doing this kind of stuff. This is just it just creates like this insane environment. I I've always like here recently. I've enjoyed like the kind of like changes in the different kind of like subscription models for MMOs because no one really. Most of them understand that they can't sustain themselves purely off subscription mm -hmm. anymore. And so some of the weird mix-ups are kind of interesting. Some of them get it right. Some of them get it really wrong. Mm -hmm. And so... It's kind of like the press. <laughs> touch tips, guys. Uh, uh. I think we've got... You don't, you don't want to touch tips? One arena quest left in us. So All right, it's me, let's do it. Cthulhu, oh. reporting for sure... I'm also recording. Oh, it'll be me and you, Christian. Shepard and the Wolf coming back yeah! 2014. I'm feeling it. Oh, feeling yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Cthulhu. We're going to fail, you know, Toad. I'm sorry. No. It's all the my Toad's pretty good. The, the Toad and a Squid. <laughs> toad and a Squid. We're both uh, hey, Gold Crown. Excellent. Nice. That was actually <clears> what <throat> I needed. Oh, now I got both. Huh. <laughs> 
So I guess you are House Greyjoy, and we are uh, Winterfell, and what are you, Shepard? Oh, what's the pastoral community out in Pastoral community? They, they just form. <laughs> I, I, I really <laughs> think that Shepard really is just the Lannisters. Yeah, I would say so. You're Slytherin. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Hufflepuff. Uh, Shepard is Hufflepuff. Do something that has a great sword, so we can all use great swords. Oh. Uh, Yay! No, great swords. No. I'm looking at the challenge quest. I'm trying to figure out which ones had great swords. Um, can't you see in your uh? If in you've your eyes. done. Oh wait, yeah, I That's haven't done only, a lot of challenge fix. quests. I can um, see. Um, what's it in nine? No, not not nine. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. I just did a Raytheon, otherwise we would do the Raytheon. Let's check the challenge quests. I think maybe I the mean, challenge quest guys, two has I'm, a great sword. I I'm flabbergasted that we haven't died. Let's do let's do challenge quest number two. How is it possible? Have oh, we I have we transcended you. Monster Hunter? Oh, water Arena? I mm -hmm. hate you. If it has the great oh. sword, it's gonna be even worse. Oh yeah, exactly. Has a sword, Why there are three? Oh, oops. Hold on. Let me. Uh... All right. Oh. Which, which I'm one joining. Are you joining? You're joining. Me. Yeah. All right. All right. It'll be a challenge. If it's not a great sword, whatever. We'll just do it anyways. Yeah. But if there's a great sword, you have to great sword. Yeah. Let's do this. And Code <laughs> is really good at great sword, so I'm scared. I'll probably underwater. Oh. No. Underwater great underwater. sword. That's, that sounds like a horrible idea. Let's do this. I do like that uh, the great sword underwater, sword. the smash charge is um an upswing. Are we doing I long do like sword? That. All right, everybody's doing long sword, right? Long sword, or, long sword, Larry's all across the board. Long sword, Larry's. No, all sword and shield, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, are are we just using whatever, or, no, or do, are we actually long, all long swords? Long swords only. We already started. Oh, all right, go, 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 starting go, go, go. the year of long sword, Larry. <laughs> I'm not really. Uh, I mean, the, the saying you're not good with long sword is not like the worst thing. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to use a sword me. as a tentacle and just be happy with it. I don't know how uh, how this works. I think long I sword is kind of easy to be good do with. The double overhead underwater. What? I don't even. Oh, you can only do one. So you can only do what one. about when you unsheath? Oh, no, only one. Oh wow, that's. I never, I never used the long sword, Shepard. You've never used the long sword. Well, I don't, I don't use the long sword much. Not really. You know. What do we have? Flash oh, I died. That's uh... <laughs> ah, that's a good start. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not that's very good. Oh, uh, I can't. I'm glad everybody is struggling. Can you? I'm actually not doing too bad. I actually know longsword pretty well. <laughs> I spent a lot of time with longsword. Shut up! Shut up! You shut your mouth. your mouth, dirty Cthulhu! <laughs> I haven't hit him once. I have not I've... hit the Plesioth <laughs> once. I'm doing, you know. <laughs> Shepard is doing I'm making Shepherd my presence thing. known. <laughs> he's he's not feeling completely unpunished. He's not, you know, he's not allowed to ignore me. I hope the Plesioth just, just goes really only after you, Shepard. Like that, Christian, because he's, he's gonna he's gonna bop you. And remember, we've got some easy max potions as well. Okay, yeah, I used just used one. That's good. I'm gonna start comboing. Hopefully, be able to get this off. Excellent. All right, that's one level there. Right, he's in rage. Take this brief opportunity to get a little combo. How do I? What's what's a good combo with this with this weapon? X A X. A, okay. X, okay. X A X A. <laughs> nope. It's an infinite nope. combo. Nope. X and A when he's about to hit you, so you can get away. <laughs> it's oh, two slash. together. You mean? Yeah, at the same time. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I it's like a it. it's a good uh good way to build your spirit gauge. It it does does have uh, a pretty big. Well, boost what's the spirit, spirit gauge? gauge. The, the little. <laughs> how, you're, you're joking now. <sighs> such such a kidder. All right. We got this right. Uh, maybe. If he stays <laughs> still for any amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> if he just stays still forever just, now. Just hold still there for a second. Uh, Christian might want to heal. You're looking real. Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing a little right under now. the weather. No, 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 no. Oh, fishy, 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 fishy. Stay still. Oh. Oh, 
should have just gotten out of the way because I knew that was going to finish. Oh, good flinch. <laughs> that was, of course, completely uh, oh, intentional, on. you know. He's not, <laughs> he's just not staying still at all. He's a wiggly. We have a wiggler. Well, he is a fish. I'd hope he'd wiggle a little bit. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There were some people that were very excited about Plesio. Oh, I think, does he have his own Tumblr? I know he's got his own Twitter. But I think there's a really oh. great Tumblr of Plesio. Do you, like do you think I might die? The... I'm dead. Oh. Have you guys seen the um, Toad. the the selfie Olympics? <laughs> pretty uh, selfie pretty Olympics. A lot of mattresses yeah. in bathrooms. In, in or, or bikes. Oh man! Yeah, I saw bikes. a lot of bikes in bathrooms. <laughs> Was there any uh, pics no! that had both a uh, mattress oh. and a bike? No. <laughs> I really hope that on the next uh, next Olympics selfies would be would be a discipline. You good at taking selfies there, Christian? I I not not intentionally. Well, of course I did. Yeah, like on on vacation with my girlfriend. No 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 no! You don't yeah, kill oh. me. You die again? No. No. Okay. He's fine. He's a little panicked. He's a little yeah. scared. I am. Poor guy. I am uh, taking it. Uh... Poor little Christian. Poor little I am. Uh... Panic at the disco. I am. Oh, oh no, no 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 no! See I now you're that? panicked. Oh, 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 Shepherd is panicked. Run, 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 run. Quiet you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a. Is that a Shep death? No. No. It should have been. He hit me with his water beam. I don't yeah. Know his I water beam only seems to or... be a death blow when it's the least convenient. <laughs> Christian, could you use your uh, flash bomb on him? Yeah, 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 I finally got white gauge. Yeah, I got white gauge like before I died. Didn't work. <laughs> it's not effective. You gotta throw it oh, in his face. Oh, oh, oh. no, I... that's it. Oh. No! 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 <laughs> No. <laughs> Shepard. I missed mine too. I think they both God. died. Think, We're not going. We, on... I think if we succeed, we win by default. How's yeah. Greyjoy? Yeah, don't. Just, if you don't die, on our you property. win. What? What is that? Can never die. Uh, <laughs> watching your reaction and you died is great. <laughs> I just see you right. grab your like tentacles. No. <laughs> so is that is that three deaths from all of you guys or just two? Uh, uh, three. We're done. Done. Oh! Okay. I died once. He so died Christian, twice. All we have to do is to is survive. survive. We cannot die. Life we cannot find die. A way. Oh man, this is going to be exciting. We'll start up the quest again. See if we can beat it before they. Oh no! Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this this long I think swords. This means I probably should have used more long swords in this game. Yeah. Wait, let me get. Are you gonna mount me? No. Don't mount uh, me. I'm standing next to you. The, 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 <laughs> okay. Not, careful, careful, not that guy. The toad that mounts See, the world. There we go. Right into it, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> did you guys have any New Year's resolutions specifically? Any Monster <sighs> Hunter related New Year's resolutions? Play more Monster Hunter 4. <laughs> uh, I just wanted okay. to say that. <laughs> I still need to fight, like, I still need to unlock the, uh, the last... Do more episodes of Monster Hunter Podcast. Come on. No. I would love to play Monster Hunter 4 some more, but... I don't know. We can play more later today if you want, Andrew. I just, yeah. uh, I'm on my, uh... HR5 urgent on one of my characters. I'm gonna be playing a lot okay. of board games this year. Yes, that's my big one. Yes. yes. You guys beat it? No, so close though. We got him wiggling. <laughs> he's wiggling. He's wiggling. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Well, he's always wiggling. Shepard, I just smashed you in the face. How would you feel about that? Whoops. Christian has a very cute sounding puppy. Or no, no, that's no, Toad's that's, puppy. That's Toad's puppy. I don't have puppies. Have you tied them together not, yet? Not that and you created know a, uh, an endless loop of puppy. Uh, yeah, puppy centipede. Puppy centipede. <laughs> it's Dude. actually it's funny since they've known each other for such a long time now. They actually kind of follow each other anyway. 
so it's they're not really affected much. Natural puppy centipede. Oh, he's uh, is he getting angry or is he almost exhausted? How do I how do I spirit combo? Uh, keep tapping the R button. Okay. R pirate R R. Oh, R R Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah! Ah, yeah. I'd say it, the Lannisters pay always pay their debts, right? <laughs> and Christian, we actually uh, effortlessly S ranked that one. Oh. Wow! Effortlessly. I I would say it it I contributed contributed to that, but I think we both Christian. know who was responsible. Right, for no, See, if there, there were actually a great sword in that one, I think we would have won. There <laughs> there is a wealth of data now. Okay, I, I challenge whoever would like to go through the podcasts, okay? Every time there's been a shepherd and a wolf. <laughs> Alright. S rank. Eddie, Eddie, if you watch this episode, Winners. give us statistics. You know who you are. The wiki. Yeah. The wiki uh, has the truth. <laughs> my uh, my statistics went up by this episode by far, I think. Alright, guys, let's gather this at the table. Good... Let's gather at the table. No, I think I, think <laughs> I was kind of enjoying... Uh, I was hoping <laughs> I would be able to sit on the backs of Toad and Cthulhu. Be, <laughs> you just uh, lie on us like you're riding around like a bed. Like a chariot. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was hoping for. Okay. So uh, this table. is the end of the episode. We need to wrap it up. Are you guys okay with that? Uh, I am yes. I'm more than okay with it. I think this is an excellent amount of recording time. Should be about forty minutes, forty-five minutes. I think. I think I've got company. <laughs> I think that this is just as good. You're on the way, so. So you should visit teamworkcast.com, bing, which is a website we have. It's back. It's It was gone for a short while. We have some problems with our host. We had to remove the questions part of the website, so you cannot ask and answer questions uh, right now. Oh, really? Which, no, sadly not. Mm -hmm. But we're going to try to reactivate it as soon as possible. It was kind of causing the, the server to, to, to buckle down under the weight of all your questions because you've been posting so furiously, uh, which is a good <laughs> thing, but not a good thing for a server. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try to make reactivate as soon as possible, but, but you can still uh, create like hunting parties and schedule stuff with it. And of course, you can see all the beautiful episodes of, of us and of, of uh, Iceman, who's been doing a lot of work recently, and of all the beautiful other shows on our websites, which are Monster Hunter related, right? Correct. Yes. So you can you should visit teamworkcast.com. Bing. So what else? What else should we talk about? Do we have some other things going on? We are uh, preparing a couple of episodes, right? We've got a couple of shows. Yeah, well, I mean, there's Crusader Kings. Oh, uh, yeah. There's Dark Souls. Yes. Uh, what else? There's XCOM. XCOM, of course. I, I enjoy I, I enjoy stopping in every now and then when you're streaming that. That is a very enjoyable <laughs> stream. This is we're still it's still not clear if this stream <laughs> will be a defeat or a failure. We it's, don't know. It's, we don't are know. Are you doing it's, viewer names? Could, could be both. Huh? Are you doing names of viewers as your soldiers? Yeah, yeah, but they're, they're at this point it's they're it's, dying so fast. Yeah, it's, <laughs> so many generations have passed. You're on fry it's, fry number four. Ah, uh, fry! <laughs> don't fry get the started fourth. with fry. I don't know what you even expected from him. Oh, <laughs> man, fry! <laughs> God damn it, fry! Okay, never mind. Yes, there's going to be things coming up, but sadly, right now we are a little bit of a lull right now. So you just have to keep in there, uh, hanging there, and 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 wait because eventually it will be awesome i swear it will be sweet yes anything else should we talk about do you guys have anything mm, no no i mean i think Nothing. i think capcom uh, i i did speak with yuri the other day they are going to be uh -huh. trying to make more um fan focused videos uh, still a priority so sweet uh, keep an eye on the unity forums and the unity page and especially in monster hunter to see uh, what new things that they've been working with with the community. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye out for meetups in your area as well. Still have meetups, yep. Merritt and Mall. I think every Tuesday, every Tuesday from now Tuesday. on. We, we, were, we had a little of hiatus because of snow and holidays. But Tuesdays, uh, snow, holidays, everything. 530, <laughs> Food Court, Westfield yep. Mall, Merritt in Connecticut. Come by. Play yep. with me. Beat me up. Didn't the, uh, the new community manager said something about looking for meetups? Come. He may like come hang out with us, but I think he's yeah, in like Europe. he, he talks about he talks yeah, about new, doing that. The the one that had the like Christmas video is a European community manager. Yeah, oh, okay. So I don't think he's coming. Not the US. One, <laughs> he's yeah. coming to Meriden. I hope not. God, what a horrible <laughs> representation of the United States. Welcome. <laughs> 
just all of us having McDonald's and yeah. Chinese food and stuff. At the, Not even Taco <laughs> the food Bell court. anymore. The Taco Bell went out of business. And now yeah. it's what is it? Express. What is it now? Taco <laughs> Express. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they'll sponsor us, Andre. They'll sponsor the podcast if we give them an advertisement. Yeah, they should. Give we could just tacos. always buy their stuff, yeah. and then Listen, eventually get free stuff. Everyone should buy their Cthulhu ski masks. <laughs> <laughs> No, put, oh. You should put that, put another picture of that, like, right now. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely, definitely. All right, Mr. Toad. Right. Uh, thank you for joining us, dear sir. Yep, no problem. It was a great pleasure. Is there some place that where people can contact you? Um, the Marion Mall Food Court on Tuesdays. Yes. <laughs> okay. He, I mean, he I have... He streams uh, Monster Hunter 4 sometimes. Ah. Sometimes, not no. lately, but I do Is have it. TV slash Omnitoad, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do have it there. I haven't streamed in a while. Sometimes I stream Monster Hunter. Sometimes I stream other things, and other so games. What was it and stuff. again? It's uh, it's Twitch TV, uh, Twitch TV slash Omnitoad. Excellent, excellent. Um, yes. Yeah, so thanks for joining us this time around, and uh, we. I don't know when the next episode is going to be when we record. We are on the regular schedule at this point. Um, we're gonna try to to stream as often as possible or record as often as possible, but of course this is a bit of a problem right now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be back on the next episode, hopefully. <laughs> way way to get people hyped up. We'll we'll try and make it to the future. Weekly, In the future, uh, weekly by <laughs> weekly at the worst case, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sounds good. Works sounds for me. Good. Sounds good. So we will be back next time. Until then, we wish you good luck, good hunt, and remember. Nothing says love like gently puking into somebody's face. Or tentacles. Mm. It's passionate. <laughs> <laughs> or passionate both. Passionate way of life.